Hello, this is Mendy Newman from Ericom. In this session, we're going to discuss what is remote browser isolation. Before we can understand the technology behind remote browser isolation, we need to understand a little bit about how a web page works. When you open your web browser and try to browse to any domain on the web, google.com, cnn.com, or any other website, behind the scenes, what's actually happening is your web browser is making requests to a web server somewhere on the internet and is asking that web server to send it a series of files. These files, when combined together by your web browser, will actually render the web page in your browser so that you can view the content. Generally speaking, these requests include files like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, images, video, and other types of files. The danger inherent in web browsing is that is what is to say that any of these files that is being sent to your local computer is not malicious. Of course, the concept is, is that your web browser is supposed to be secure and protect the rest of your desktop and the network from any of these threats. In reality, that's not always the case. Even the simplest web page you visit can contain hundreds, if not thousands, of unique files that need to be analyzed and understood if they are malicious or not to be able to protect you from the dangers of the internet. Let's take a look at it as an example. Here I am visiting a simple web page, The Verge, a technology review website. If we actually look at the HTML that your local browser has requested and received from this website, we do a simple view source, control U, and we can see that there are actually thousands of lines of code coming down to your local web browser. I'm running a simple Extension for analysis, we can see over 97 JavaScripts from almost 100 different domains. These files are being brought down to your local browser. And this obviously creates a tremendous amount of risk when it comes to securing your local browser, your desktop, and your network. The solution is remote browser isolation. Remote browser isolation says that when your local browser wants to request a web page, instead of it requesting it directly from that web server and receiving all those files to the local browser, instead those requests will be redirected, in this case, to the Ericom cloud. In our cloud, we have a series of remote browsers in a secure container. All the content needed to render that web page is loaded in one of these secure containers so that even if there is malicious content there, it never comes to your local browser. It would only infect one of our secure containers that will be destroyed anyways at the end of the session. Once that page is rendered in that secure remote browser, the system begins to take basically screenshots and send visual images of that website to your local browser. So when you look at your local browser, you can see the same web page. You can interact with it, click on links, play video, audio, fill out forms, interact with it as you normally would. But in reality, that web page is not being brought to your local browser. It's actually living in a remote browser container. So let's take a look at what that looks like when I visit the same website in a remote browser isolation session. If I now look at the code behind this site, all those thousands of lines of code disappear, and we only have 50 lines of code from the Ericom platform. Everything else you see here, and everything else I try to do on this page is just a visual representation of the website that I'm visiting. So it is much safer and is much cleaner. This is the technology referred to as remote browser isolation, isolating dangerous websites into a remote container so that your local desktop is not exposed 
to any risks or dangers of the internet. ZT Edge, the simple, affordable way to move to zero trust security.